I'm going to add time for you the story of antiquity. This uh, thin little creature sitting all alone by herself, staring straight ahead, saying nothing, is antiquity. Antigone is based on uh, Sophocles, 5th century BC play. Um, and this version is adapted by the famous French playwright Jean Renoui. Uh, he wrote it in occupied Paris in 1944. It revolves around the central character of Antigone, who is Oedipus' daughter, and her uh, defiance of her uncle, who has become king. And you must obey the law. If you had been a scullery maid, there would have been no doubt in your mind about the seriousness of that Egypt. You would have known that it meant death, and you would have been happy to weep for your brother in your kitchen. But you, because you come of the royal line, because you were my niece and were going to marry my son, you thought I should not dare have you killed. Creon has become king, and he's declared that Antigone's brother um, is not to be given a burial, that his body's to rot as an example to the city, and Antigone defies him by burying the body. Uh, that's the core of the story. What for? What was wrong with the body? Sir, somebody had been there and buried the body. The key to this play is and how to find out what makes Antigone tick. All the characters have a very strong and particular relationship and have strong interactions with Antigone. So my interest was really trying to figure out how to get under Antigone's skin and see what makes her tick. not Antigone's heroism so much as, as her, the fact that she's her vulnerability and the way that she acts despite her doubts and weaknesses. Tell them to let me go. I shan't run away. My father was King Oedipus. I am Antigone. <laughs> oh, King Oedipus' little girl! This is, that makes this really an interesting play, and I, I think that's the thing that touches audiences even thousands of years after these events. That's not so convenient about tragedy. 